Well, I love this animal, this mosquito. I have dreams about the giant bug. When I first heard about the American giant mosquito, and I did a little research on it and found out that its origin is probably around the Mississippi Delta. And during storms, when we get, when Florida and the rest of the Gulf Coast gets dumped with a lot of rain, these mosquitoes expand very quickly. As the water is sitting there after a storm like Tropical Storm Debbie, which dumped a lot of water in Florida, the mosquitoes migrated over from the, uh, that part of the country, the south, the swamps, and laid their eggs. And these eggs will hibernate for years until the next storm comes along and re-wets that surface and then they, the populations explode. So we've got this huge potential with all these eggs that were laid during Tropical Storm Debbie. The next storm coming in that wets that surface, we're gonna have a huge population explosion of this giant mosquito. Now I see it as a vampire, you know, and, and it's getting a lot of press because it's a bloodsucker. And anything that will uh, attack us, big humans, is a threat and a little bit scary. So I'm glad that there's information getting out about it. I do know that it's not known to be a disease carrier, so that's not going to be a problem like some of its much smaller uh, cousins, if you will. What really aggravates us as humans and why we are um, a little bit afraid of this mosquito is that it hurts when it bites. It's able to go through clothing, it's able to go through fur. They've been called the hairy-legged zebra of the uh, mosquito world. What they go after, actually, is they have uh, carbon dioxide, CO2 detectors. And so when they uh, smell the uh, breath of humans or the breath of cattle, livestock, uh, that's one of the uh, long distance detectors that they use. And then once they're close enough, they use their vision. And then after that, they have little heat detectors and they'll go for the warm spots um, along the throat, behind the knees, um, sometimes the back of the neck, and zero in and poke that long jaw into our bodies. And they have these little saw mechanisms by which they're able to uh, kind of use their, actually it's a two-part mouth part, um, but they just kind of drill down into our skin and in the process they inject saliva, venom like saliva that keeps the blood flowing until their meal is done and, and anesthetizes it a little bit until they start withdrawing and that's where the pain is on the withdrawal, like pulling a hook out of your skin. Now my solution is to bring back the fly swatter because these things are big enough that you could actually nail them with the fly swatter. It's not like you can wear long sleeves and avoid them. I think you just have to kind of listen for the buzz only the female sends out that buzz. There's no way that we can rid ourselves of all pests. And part of it is we live in paradise. There's a small cost and the American giant mosquito might be that small cost for a short time.